Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Sylvia, and I make videos on planning with the occasional review. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the midpoint of February 2022. Okay, you guys, we are halfway there, almost, technically. Today is <laughs> actually February 13th. 2022 and it's a Sunday and since the midpoint for me is the 15th and it falls within this week I figured I'd just call it the midpoint right and by the time I get it edited and what have you and uploaded it's probably going to be the 15th so there's that so we're starting out with the A5 Days Jibun Techo it's A5 Slim excuse me I can't seem to use this little planner and it's hurting my whole heart so <laughs> Let me open it up. I knew that it was going to be a struggle trying to use a day's planner because every time I try, I use the Hobonichi day's, whoops, last year, and it was a hot mess, and I'm falling off on this one. So I've decided to write my book notes in here because I am reading or listening to an audiobook almost every single day. Yesterday was the first day of the year that I didn't listen to any audiobook, and so I'm kind of behind. I'm not going to have a book finished for this week, um, week seven. Is that what we're on? I think that's what we're on. So uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'm starting to think about some things. Here it is. That's where it says week seven. I was looking for that. <laughs> so I'm trying to kind of reevaluate at the half point at the midpoint of the month and I'm saying okay what worked and what didn't so what I tried to do was I tried to leave this on my desk open and I planned ahead I didn't fill out anything I didn't mark anything off um, so I moved it after a couple of days to my room thinking well when I wake up and if I see it you know first time first thing <laughs> excuse me before I go to sleep maybe I can use this thing that didn't happen either. So I have tried a couple of different things. They didn't work out. And then I looked at my week as a whole. And to be honest, this is supposed to be my at-home planner where when I'm at my desk and I'm doing things and I need to write notes, um, when I need to make timelines for stuff I want to get done or a time ladder, that's what this planner is for. I was not home at all this week. I think today is Sunday, so this is the first day I've actually been home. So if I look at my planner... Um, basically my weekends are pretty full in here and the days are pretty sparse. And there's really not a lot you can do about that. So I've decided to go ahead and give this at least one more week, if not until the end of February, just because things are going to be slowing down. My niece is no longer going to be in basketball. That's ending. So I don't have to be out of the house twice a week to go to games. <laughs> and so there's no late pickups from practice. And I'm just hoping that means... I can use this more. So I think I'm going to go ahead and fill out today, maybe backfill and see what I can get done and hope that this week it will get filled out a little bit more because I do love this planner. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm also going to try to carry this in my purse. It is an A5 Slim. It's not that heavy. I think honestly a B6 Slim would have worked better for carrying around, <laughs> but I am determined to figure out a way to utilize um, this little planner. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. And of course, I am using my Sarasa clip pens. These are the vintage set, and I have both of them. I'm also going to be using my friction highlighters.
Okay, so I have gone ahead and I filled out everything that I can remember from yesterday <laughs> and thus far for today. Technically, Super Bowl hasn't happened. We're like right here, but um, well, Jay is watching the Super Bowl at home. We were invited to my sister Carol's house, but Jay likes to cook a bunch of food and stay home and watch it by himself. And I like to write or do something else during the Super Bowl. Usually they're not here. They used to go places and I used to have the day to myself and I loved it. I'd watch all kinds of stuff and eat junk food, but I mean, I still do the same thing. It's just, I like doing it by myself. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else? All right, so I've got things filled out. Um, I don't have anything else like, okay. So I am reading Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol and I thought that I could do that this week. And I think I have the hardcover book that's larger. So it's about 500 pages. I think if it was like the mass production books, it probably would be seven or 800. And with the busiest week ever, I'm only halfway through the book. So I'm gonna try to get two hours of reading in. Which I think I'm gonna do. I already checked that. I didn't mean to check it, but I'm gonna get it done. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to try to, what else? Um, I'm going to open, just open my other writing projects to see where I'm at. I need to do that. I was, this says charging everything. I don't know if you guys go through and do that, but I needed to charge all kinds of stuff. Like my Kindle needed to be charged. <laughs> I needed to charge my second, um, what is this thing called? Keyboard. This is the keyboard I use for my iPad, which also needed to be charged. Um, that's charging currently right now. I needed to charge the Apple Pencil because sometimes I forget to take it out of its little case and, and charge it. Um, so I'm doing that and I'm charging my phone. Everything was like dead. And I thought, man, Sylvia, you need to go around and just charge all of these things. <laughs> This is kind of sparse and it is what it is. I forgot to put M and symbol over here. Good Lord, Sylvia, did I do that over here? No, I just put reading, so that's fine. <laughs> All right, so gonna give this another try this week. Put this guy in here. Now we can move on. Okay, so hoping each two weeks, let me zoom on in a little bit. I am using this as my everyday carry, and as I mentioned, I'm gonna to try to carry both of these guys because I need to. So I lost my Hobonichi stencil, you guys. Has this ever happened to you? I can't find it. It's been well over a week, and I can't find it. I did find my Apple TV remote, which was missing for a while. I cleaned off my shelves and moved them around, and I ended up finding it in like a pencil holder. I had like put it in there to stand it in there. <laughs> I couldn't find it for two weeks. Found that, so I'm gonna stop looking for the Hobonichi stencil, the yellow one, um, and then maybe I'll actually find it. So currently I'm using this universal Hobonichi stencil. Um, I've had these since 2016, 2017, whenever I had my first Hobonichi. I've never thought to buy a second set, and now I'm just like, maybe I should have, my bad. So here's my very bare monthly. Um, I'm putting like appointments on the calendar. I have a few things that I want to do. So I mean, let me see. I am currently still using my friction pen. This is in the friction knock, point knock, excuse me, in a point four. And these are some things that I want to get done. Goals for the month. I did get a book haul, which I'm so excited about. I talked about that in my last video. Finding a new used bookstore is always something that makes me happy. I added this on kind of late. You can see here on the 9th, I added it on. I didn't go ahead and mark these out, but this just says reading and A just means audio. And then reading for P means physical books. And then I have writing and then BF is just personal. And then I have walk and then I have clean. So I thought these were some things I could keep track of here. Of course, since I haven't been utilizing this, I haven't even bothered to do anything with the monthly. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the monthly. Look at this. I haven't even filled it out. It's just not working for me. I can't, 
I can't seem to have a weekly and a monthly and be able to fill both of them out. And now I have two monthlies. And it's like, what the hell am I going to do with you? And since I haven't actually been using this planner, I thought, what's the point of trying to do tracking down here? I'm never going to mark anything off or fill anything in. So I thought since I always have this, this would be the best place to do that. It's smaller, of course, but you got to go with what works, right? I mean, am I right? Let me know down below. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to try this out. And then over here, this is um, last week. And I basically have a bunch of four words. I still have not watched the Harry Potter reunion show. Is that what we're calling it? I don't know if it's on HBO, but been trying to watch that since it came out. Hasn't happened. All of this stuff, I hate seeing four words, but I was not home, you guys, to do any of this stuff. Oh, wait, sorry. I did do this. This one I can check off. Hooray. Okay, I didn't even bother filling out my book club books because nobody knew. Um, so I have been using these little sticky notes and they've been just amazing uh, to forward plan on. And since I have an erasable pen, this said week six and now it says week seven because <laughs> I erased it and I hadn't finished this. So I had to return a book, which I did. This has been done. I was supposed to be reading Lord of the Flies because I am trying to read, what is it called? Wilder Girls, which is a retelling, reimagining of Lord of the Flies. So I wanted to read this first so I could see the parallels and I didn't get to it because, I don't know, I thought I would finish Lost Symbols by Dan Brown, um, but I didn't, I didn't finish that this week because it is an adult book. It's a little bit longer and I wasn't home. Also, The Flight Attendant is a TV series. I can't remember if it's on HBO or not. I highly recommend it. It is so good and it is a book. So my library actually got that in so I snagged it because the new series is coming out. I don't know if it has come out yet. It's supposed to be out soon. So this is another book I need to get to. I have so much reading to do. Look at all of these forwards. It makes me so incredibly unhappy. Just so sad. Let me know if you feel like you're a failure when you have a lot of forwards. Um, normally, I would just flip back and forth. You know, I'd flip back to this week instead of rewriting them, but... I've noticed that I forget to do that. I don't know if it's because I've been crazy busy um, or not. So I'm just going to, I guess, rewrite things. So I'm going to fill this out and come back. Or maybe I can talk a little bit while I fill it out. I really like my categories here. So I have just been using this mild liner. Um, somebody had mentioned something about this having like, I don't know. Do I have a page that I could use back here? Probably. It kind of, I don't know how to explain it. it. It's not too wet, like it'll dry just fine. But sometimes when you try to go to erase it, it gets this weird stuff. Let's see if you can see the bottom of my pen. You see how it just stays on there for some reason? And it smudges the crap out of everything and makes it look ugly. And I don't, I don't know. Um, what's the point of having an erasable highlighter if it sucks? So I might go back to oops, the mild liners I have off to the side here ready. If I can't figure it out, that's what I'm going to go to because it's kind of annoying me. So anyway, I just use this already annoying line <laughs> that's here um, and I just highlight a little like title space. I should have went the opposite way because now my hand's going to rub on this and it hasn't dried yet. Oh, Sylvia, get it together. Do you see how severely I have to like turn my planner in order to write straight? It's so funny. I also have to do it to highlight straight apparently. <laughs> oh, anyone else? I am also really enjoying the Lost Symbol and Jay let me know I think a couple of days ago when I told him I was reading it that he's pretty sure they already canceled the TV series. And I was like, come on, people. That's why I was reading this book. I wanted to watch the TV series. Um, and now I'm kind of sad because I do like this book. And I feel like because it gave them, they gave them, excuse me, uh, a TV series, they're not going to make a movie with Tom Hanks. And that would make me really heart crushed. Oh, I missed one. Good Lord. One more. I can do it. 
And I just let this sit for a minute because it is kind of wet on this Hobonichi paper before I write over it. But then, I mean, the pen writes perfectly fine. You just have to let it sit for a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I have lost my other stencil because I am sort of ridiculous, I guess. How long have you guys, have you guys ever lost these stencils? And if so, how long? Like, did you ever find them? Like at this point, I wanna say it's misplaced, but it's been a week. I feel like that's lost. Um, <laughs> my camera cut me off, so I don't know where I was. Anyway, I went ahead and I put some symbols down. I drew this uh, line because I think that pencil is just lighter. I see those people that outline everything with pen so it's darker, and I'm like, what is the point? You know, I mean, I know what the point is to make it darker, but this is lazy planning, you guys. I'm not going to get it together to outline everything all over again. We're just going to use the boundaries, the lines that they give us. Cool? <laughs> because that, to me, is out of control. Anyway, so on this side, on the left-hand side, I usually put appointments and events. And then on this side is just kind of a little note to myself or journaling note of how the day went. Um, and that's basically what I do. I only have, hopefully, two times... That I'm supposed to be out of the house this week so I can get back to writing and doing my own stuff. Also, um, on this stencil, they do have the tinier squares, if you can see them there, and then the larger one. And I forget all of the time to use these um, smaller ones. And I find that these bigger ones make me write even bigger. <laughs> so whatever. I don't even know. Um, I like the bigger ones, though. I, I don't know. It's, it's a toss-up at this point. I feel like pigtail is hyphenated, but I don't know. Anyway, moving on. So that's all I do there. Now I can go ahead and fill out these categories here, which help remind me of what I'm supposed to be focusing on for the week. So we've got events. Okay. I'll just put writing on there, see how that goes. So books that I'm supposed to be reading this week, which has an M in it, Sylvia. <laughs> and then I need to start Lord of the Flies. Um, nice book, like it was barely used in my opinion. And I don't mind buying these books used because Dan Brown has a shit ton of money. No one's feeling sorry for Dan Brown. Like if it was a new author, I certainly would pay full price because you should just do that for new authors. But um, yeah, these two people, I think he's probably since passed and I don't care if his grandchildren get the money for his hard work. Sorry, but I don't. <laughs> um, what was I writing? Lord of the Flies. See, I was gonna write rings again. Okay, Lord of the Flies. And then I'm just gonna leave that on there. And I'm gonna have to get to this other book. This one's started. Uh, the Flight Attendant. I guess next week. So maybe I should write that down. I will write that down. So this is week what? Eight. Okay. So that'll be the book that I need to focus on next week. And um, also Wilder Girls. Wilder Girls, I think. So starting this one and then hopefully ending, like the best thing that I could possibly do is read two books in a week, one audio, one physical. That's just still not happening. <laughs> I'm so busy. But if I can start this book and then maybe on the weekend um, finish it and start a new one, um, that's the best I can hope for at this point, I feel like. What else needs to happen this week that's important? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I also know that my niece Jade is working on a history project that's going to last several weeks, I think up until March. So she has several different deadlines for things, which means that we can work on it slowly, but it's also annoying because we don't want to forget those deadlines <laughs> and find out where to upload them online because that's what they do. And it's just, 
Yeah, it takes some adjusting, but we're gonna get it done. And put a question mark so I can look up and write down those dates probably off in this section where the notes are. I mean, I guess I have space to, to put them under here as well. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know where I'll put them. So projects, writing, I'll probably know, I'll probably know more about that depending on what I get done today. I think that's correct. I don't have to look those up on Monday when people are back at the library if I didn't get emails. Okay, so I think that's all I kind of want to set up for now. I've been using this space here to write things out. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or if I should put this on my dailies. So I might move this um, to my dailies for Monday. If I feel like I need to make like a little weekly chart here and then just fill this out um, at the end of each week so I can see the monthly view, then that's what I'll do. But for right now, I think this might be okay. I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you... Do you keep like a weekly tracker? Cause I was doing that before and I wasn't filling out anything. <laughs> like nothing was happening there. But again, um, things are changing. Before when my sister got really sick, I was just doing whatever I could do whenever I could do it. Um, and now I can get back to more of a schedule. So we'll see how that goes. That is everything. I also have these, which I haven't been utilizing them at all. So this is just a really nice way to kind of put, okay, um, on Mondays, probably on Sundays, but I need to clean off my phone because I have had a real heck of a time <laughs> with my screenshots. They're kind of out of control. On Sundays, I like to um, clean out my email and keep that nice and tidy because I did that at the end of the year. I left it all for the end of the year and it took me forever. I don't want to do that again. I've been pretty good about doing it once a week, not always on the same day, but I'd like to get on more of a schedule. I need to do something about Instagram. I'm really bad about that. I did upload some stuff onto Instagram this past week. So I need to pick a day. I'm going to say maybe Wednesday. We'll see how Wednesday goes where I need to start doing more Instagram stuff. Maybe I can put this actually here. I need to do something with Instagram on Wednesday. I know it's Washi Wednesday, isn't that like a thing? I think it is. I usually do emails um, here on Mondays. And then these can mean different things. I don't have any packages from Amazon right now, but um, let's just see if that works out. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rest of these on the back of my little writing board. Oh my gosh, I gotta put this. This is why I'm losing stuff. I gotta put this back in here. These fit in here, by the way. I don't know if anyone ever uses these in here, probably because they all have the Hobonichi Weeks one that's skinny, but I love that they fit here. I did not know that. <laughs> so there's that information. Okay, so that has been my planning and I'm hoping this is gonna work out. If not, I'm seriously thinking about scrapping everything and going back to a bullet journal. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that seems like it's pretty drastic, but I'm kind of annoyed, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.